And it was fitting, I think, that afterwards, Patino shook the hands of Trey Lewis. Yeah, that was a heartfelt congratulation both ways. Lewis showing respect for a milestone win. And Rick Patino showing respect for this kind of performance by the junior guard. He did everything tonight. Passing the ball. You saw the drive just before that. Coming up with some defensive plays. Finishing in transition. Did what he's done all night, and that's finishing. At this point, with Lewis doing all the offensive production, Bob, can they win a game with a one-man show? Well, somebody's going to have to step up later, but not very much. I mean, there's only one guy who can score each time down the floor. He seems to be taking care of that part of it. So, times. Lewis for three. Long-range Trey Lewis. Open shooter that's been rare in this game, and a three knocked down in the corner. 18 first-half points with that field goal. Here's Lewis, another three. He's knocked out three in the first half. Really well so far, minimal amount of turnovers. Lewis again trying for his fourth three. He's Lewis lays it in, had a look to the... He can give you that up fake and shoot the little 15-footer. I would think it's important for the Vikings, aware of their success so far in the first half, to know that Louisville can get it cranked up in a hurry. Well, yeah, what Mike Krzyzewski famously called booming you, they boom you. Lewis open oh lane to goal. Rozier loses the ball, taken away by Keza Keen. Leading to Lewis on the layup. 20 points. They respect this team's ability to handle the press. Now the dribble drive, a little floater by Lewis who cannot miss. Well, here's one that's going to be an easy one. Lewis on his way to the basket. Back-to-back -back field goals for Cleveland State. From both defenders. We talked about crediting Keen. His right hand. So he was brilliant. We knew he would be. I'm not sure our guys knew it. Um, but he was great.